The body of a missing East Liverpool man has been found at the bottom of the Ohio River. Good evening, I'm Stan Boney. And I'm Erica Thomas. Since 6, we've learned more about how officials found 44-year-old Steve House and what comes next in their investigation. 27 First News reporter James Santelli was at the scene when his truck was pulled from the water. He joins us now with our top story at 11. And Stan and Erica, this all started six days ago with an eyewitness who saw a pickup truck drive off the Jennings Randolph Bridge between East Liverpool and Chester, West Virginia, and with a man reported missing since New Year's Day. The sheriff's office in Hancock County received the report of a motor vehicle accident with the vehicle over the bridge. The search on the water was on, and Wednesday, authorities found a pickup truck in the Ohio River. And we went down and checked that out. And and realized it wasn't the truck we were looking for. It was actually a truck that had been in the river for years. But yesterday afternoon, a new clue. Sonar images showing another pickup truck 20 feet deep in the river. This afternoon, authorities used a crane to pull the truck out. Inside, the body of Steve House, the manager of the East Liverpool Rite Aid. Detective John Headley had known House since junior high and got choked up at the end of his search. That's okay. Uh, That's okay. To confirm that it was, uh, in fact, the vehicle that we were looking for. But even though the search is over, the investigation is not. People here in East Liverpool loved Steve House, and authorities want to know why his life ended at the bottom of the Ohio River. He was born and raised here in East Liverpool. Um, good guy. You know, uh, really have no, no answers to why this happened. Um, you know, I had a wife, two kids. But Detective Headley also told the Morning Journal it looks like House's truck may have been traveling more than 100 miles per hour before it plunged 100 feet into the Ohio River. And officers believe that House's truck hit the Y as the truck was traveling from Chester, West Virginia into East Liverpool. Now, as for the other truck that rescue workers found, officials say that it may be 20 years old, and they're looking into how that truck got to the bottom of the river as well. Live in the studio, James Santelli, 27 First News at 11.